In a screencast I did on the principle of DC motors, I didn't mention anything about commutation, and there was some comments uh, left on the that video which suggested I sh should do something on it. So here we are. So going back to the basic theory, if I have um, a magnetic field and I have two current carrying conductors, uh, the current in this one going in to the screen, and from here it's coming out at the screen then based on the left hand rule I'll get a force acting uh, in the downward position here and in the upward direction uh, here and that will cause the motor to rotate now when we get to this position well, just as it crosses over say the center line then the direction here needs to change instead of going up it now needs to come down and similarly the direction here needs to change so where this part of the wire was coming down now it needs to go back up and the only way we can do that is if we change the direction of the current uh, going through the windings if we do that then it will continue to rotate so what we have is the direction of the current just as we go through the center line here changing from going in to the screen to coming out to the to coming out from the screen so we need we need to be, to be able to change that we do that uh, with a commutator and the whole action is called commutation So here we have uh, the commutator, and here's the brushes, and these are the wires. Um, so it's gonna current's going to come from the positive terminal, uh, go in through the motor here, and come back out, as uh, can be displayed through here. Okay, so we see the current going in here and coming out here. If it goes in, according to the left hand rule, that is going to give us a downward uh, force. And coming out here, that's going to give us an upward force. So we have a couple across here um, that's going to cause the motor to rotate. So as it rotates, the commutator rotates until we get let's say to this position. When we're in this position the current doesn't go through the commutator. We have a gap. So we are relying on the inertia of the motor to bring it around. So it brings it to here. Now we notice the current is now going to go in through the black wire and come out on the red. On the previous, uh, in the previous plane, it was going in on the red and coming out on the black. Now it's going in on the black and coming out on the red. So we've changed the direction of the current. So there's it going in. It's going to give you downward force. Here's it coming out and on the red, giving an upward force. That's going to cause the motor to rotate. So it rotates again, inertia carries it forward, and now we're back at the start, where the current is going uh, in on the red and coming back out on the black. Like that, giving a downward force there, and an upward force there. So we've gone full cycle. So that's what commutation does. It reverses the direction of the current uh, in the motor every ha uh, half cycle. And that's what allows our motors to rotate. So I hope that's cleared uh, it up. Thanks.